And then the uh, red light there comes on, and I think we're recording at this point. Okay. So, Carol, we have had dinner together, what, maybe twice in the last five years or yep. so? And so, are you now retired? Uh? I am retired after, okay. th after three attempts. I'm done. Oh, okay. Three. Done? Done. No more. Bonus. Never, ever again. Never, ever again. I'm still working. Do you feel guilty about that at all? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> um, maybe you did something right and I did something terribly wrong. But, uh, um, I just kind of learned. After the first time, I'm like, okay, I'm done. I went back. Oh, maybe I, I miss it. Yeah. Well, and then after a while, like, no, I don't. Okay, so um, so you've been off, you've been retired now for three years? No, I've actually only been retired since end of November. Oh, so okay, not so. Not long at all. Okay, not even a year yet. Nope. Okay, so are you able to fill your time? Uh, and with things you enjoy, and yep. tell, them, tell, tell okay. them what you do. By the way, I, I, guess, a, I guess I should yes. introduce you, right? Oh, yeah. Because Who is this face? Yeah, this is Carol Bay from the class of 71. I see her every few years. Mm -hmm. Usually me and her, Paul Patimra, her husband Dave. Yep. Husband Dave. And uh, I grabbed her here at Wheel Night tonight. And so now we're talking about retirement. So what do you do these days for fun? What do you do? I read a lot. Okay. I, I love to read. Um, I like the e-books from the library. Okay. And I will go through many. I've started taking yoga classes. Oh. So I go to yoga twice a week. I say something called bar, which is just another core strength type thing. So that I'm, my balance had gotten pretty okay, bad. Okay, so it's for so balance. It's good for balance. Yeah. yeah. I think all of us at this age have problems with balance. Yeah. And then at some point we're also going to have problems with strength too. I yeah. Think, so. Yeah. And so these these help. Yeah. yeah. And I spend a lot of time like in the winter time. I spend a lot of time in the house because I'd really gotten behind because I was working crazy hours. Yes. Now I'm out in the yard digging weeds, putting down mulch. Okay. Okay. I, I love having the time to do stuff and, on my own. What are you reading? What do, What do you read? Wow. Anything and everything. One of my favorite. Fiction, nonfiction. Um, mainly. Mainly fiction. Okay. But it, um, I read Michelle Obama's book recently. I oh, loved it. Really? Oh, it's fantastic. Really? Um, not political. It's just a fantastic view from her, her point of view. Yeah. It was really. I keep recommending it. And I, I love to read um, like mysteries, spy type things. I read Daniel Silva. Okay, I know the name. Yeah. Only the name. I got to go see him. The library in Parma had him come in as a guest speaker. Oh, nice. And his wife, who works for CNN and other newspapers, interview, interviewed him. Oh, okay. And it was fantastic. Did you own the book and did you get it signed? Yes, they gave it. You you paid $25 to go to this. Oh, and they gave you got a signed book. book. Yes, okay. got a signed book. So you're a big fan Looked now. Looked him in the eye. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've always been. I've read already like 15, 16 of his books. Yeah, I, I don't read fiction, so I only am okay. familiar with names. Okay. I read only nonfiction, and I don't Which know why that is. Yeah, I, I always did it as just kind of an escape. Yeah. Things I don't have to think too hard on, and but I, I'm doing more on the biographies, which Michelle Obama, Melanie Gates. Now, is is this the first time you've come to this all class reunion? It is. I thought so. It I is. thought so. Every year we say we're going to come, and there's always some other activity we're, we promised we'd go to. Okay. Uh, we love to go to Vegas. Oh, there you Not go. A lot of time in Are you a poker player? Um, and you and I talked about this. You tried to get me to join I did. tonight, and I. It, it's just lack of self confidence. Oh. Um, in Vegas, we do um, high gal, but we had high gal. So on the yeah. that's my table, a lot of slots. But we had been doing with friends, um, Texas Hold'em. Okay. And I, I really enjoyed that, but I don't do it in Vegas. Okay. Well, when, when you get when you feel comfortable about doing it okay. and want to do it, if ever. Okay. Um, we we actually set up an online game, so you can actually play in your underwear if you want. To. I remember. I, I think you gave me the same. I, I'm I, sure I, I did. Like, yeah. So because uh, I don't get dressed sometimes till noon. You yeah. Know, I'm in my pajamas. That's it. Sure. So, um, but we most of our games are in the evening. So, okay. um, like at eight thirty and stuff. Because so some of you work. If any of you, yeah. Uh, if any of you guys. Any of the people you know want to get in, I can okay. show you how to get in. I don't take a profit. I'm not raking the okay. game, as we say. Okay. Um, we play small stakes. We play five dollars a game. Okay. And you only play when you want to. How about and, how long? Do uh, in the evening, hours? if you run deep in the tournament, which usually we only have about five or six players, it usually is done within an hour and a half. Oh, okay. So maybe from like eight thirty. 
to uh, ten. Okay. If you run deep, yeah. if you get eliminated quickly, of course you're done. Minutes were you're done quickly. Yeah. So okay. okay. So what? What? Uh, another question. Oh, so you were finally able to get here just because of uh, of schedule. Yeah. Yeah. So have you given any thought to somebody that you haven't seen for a really long time that you hope shows up here tonight? Seen him, Paul. All the camera. The okay. Only because, like, even though we see him now and then, yeah. And he calls me, and I do talk to him sometimes. I really do. Um, you don't avoid him like the rest of us do. But I'm not much of a phone person. Yeah. I, I do better with texting or that's what I'm just not. I yeah. never have been. Yeah. Um, but I was glad to see him here because I'm never connecting in person. I mean, very rarely. Like you said, a couple times for yeah. lunch. But, yeah. So I was glad that I thought the one year I come, he's not going to be here. Yeah. They was. Yeah. And I got to see John, so. Yeah. And Ernie Hines, we had a great talk when yeah. I first got here. You didn't mention uh, me. Who? Yeah, that's. That's <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> no, but I heard, I told you, I heard you talking. You was, I, I looked for you and you weren't here when I first got here, yeah. I don't think. So. Uh, no, I, I didn't get here until we like 6 30. Okay. Yeah, you know, we were over across the street having dinner. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Me and, me and Paul, Paul's sister, Kathy. Um, and a few other yeah. people from the class of '69. Okay. They had a class of '69 had a reunion out at uh, on Route 528. It's Grand River Cellar. It's a winery. It's right, pretty much on the border of Madison and Thompson. Okay. And so we were out there last night. Um, that was nice. Uh, they invited me. I don't know why, but they invited me. So. You have to document it. Yeah, yeah. So. All right, good. Well, I'm going to go grab somebody else. It's been great seeing you. Nice talking to you. And I hope to get to talk to you some more before the evening's over. Same here. Same and here. Uh, I, I hope uh, you'll at least watch your own video. So okay. it'll, it'll take me a while to get these out. No, that's okay. I'll let yes. you know. Yeah. No, I will. I'm, gonna, I'm ready to catch up now. Very good. Great seeing you. Thanks, dude. Yep. All right.